this aftermarket CCS adapter is better than the Tesla OEM adapter and in this video I'm going to show you why. Before we get too much further, let's not confuse CCS with the included adapter that came with your Tesla. This smaller adapter simply lets you use any level 2 or level 1 charging station meant for all other electric cars. What the larger CCS adapter allows you to do is to hook up to the faster DC charging networks. DC fast charging on other networks is more or less the equivalent of charging at one of Tesla's superchargers, although charging rates can vary greatly, while level 1 and level 2 charging is much like what you'll find at home or at work intended to charge your vehicle over the course of several hours and not minutes like supercharging does. For a while now, Tesla has been selling their version of the CCS adapter. It first made an appearance in South Korea and other parts of the world, then slowly rolled out here in the States. Prior to the US release, and back when I had my Model 3, I imported one because I just couldn't wait. At first, I was pretty impressed by the quality and design of the OEM Tesla adapter, but there was always one thing I couldn't get over, and that was how difficult it was to attach a CCS plug to it. So this is how difficult it is to put the CCS plug into the adapter. Like, it, that's about as far as it goes. And then I have to start pushing and, like, really push on this until it clicks. That's how hard it is. And then to, to unhook it, I have to... Yeah, this is, this is actually... <laughs> it's on there. You have to push down on this and pull and keep on come on I'm not yeah there we go <laughs> and it finally comes off since the official Tesla release there have been several aftermarket companies who have offered similar adapters which all seem to have come out of the same exact molding the clip I had just showed you was of me using one of those adapters however the experience was exactly the same when I had my official OEM adapter in fact I actually ruined my first CCS adapter when it came flying off one day after charging because as you just saw, it takes a lot of effort to get it on or get it off any time you use it. After all the headaches I've incurred trying to attach or detach these adapters, I happened to stumble across a new CCS adapter while shopping on Amazon one day for something else. This company had a somewhat different design than the competition and at a much more reasonable price point, I decided to give it a try. All right, so here I am, I'm back a couple days later, and this is the new adapter, or the aftermarket. It's a different adapter. As you can see, it doesn't have that uh, molding around here, so it's gonna snap on a lot easier. So if I take this out, like, look how easy this is. That's it, it's on there. I don't have to fight with it, I don't have to push it in or anything like that, and then to take it off, just the same. I push down on this button, and it comes right off. Like, on it goes, off it goes. Piece of cake. This aftermarket, non-OEM version of the CCS adapter is a hundred times better, in my opinion, than the OEM version. I mean, I love Tesla, but this is where it's at. There we go, as easy as that. <laughs> so in conclusion, if you're in the market for one of these, I highly recommend going with a non-OEM version. And furthermore, that you stay away from others that seem to have used the same molding that the official Tesla adapter was made from. I'll include a link in the description below on the unit that I purchased, but almost any CCS adapter that resembles this design should be easier to use and give you less headaches when trying to attach or detach the CCS plug. This aftermarket CCS adapter is better than the Tesla OEM adapter, and in this video, I'm going to show you why. This. Crap. <laughs> what he meant to say was, have you seen the new Minnie Mouse stickers? Available at MinnieMouse.com.
Thank you. This aftermarket. It's the word aftermarket I keep screwing up. 